Hey everybody, welcome back, this is Alex. In this video, I'm gonna be testing the MacBook Air M1 versus the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Intel Core i9. And we're gonna be running an Android Studio, a pretty large Android Studio build. This is a fork of Firefox for mobile. You might've seen my earlier video comparing these two, but this was before Android Studio was fully built for Apple Silicon. So now we have a native version on M1 and we're gonna see if it's much faster than the previous build. The previous build didn't do so well. So I'm really excited to see this. And in the next video, we're gonna be adding this machine as well. This is the Ryzen 9 Asus Rogue Strix gaming laptop. And it's been doing pretty well in my tests so far. I'm gonna see how Android Studio does on that one as well. So stay tuned for that video as well. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you're a subscriber to the channel, you get to participate in the drawings and the weekly drawings this week, it's Vasily Moraru. Vasily Moraru, congratulations, you won this week. Subscribe for your chance to win. All right, so here we are. Just as a reminder, the M1 Mac is about $1,000 US. It's a MacBook Air, and the MacBook Pro is about $4,000 US. So big difference in price there. Let's see if there's a big difference in performance. Now, the project I'm using to do this test is this one right here. It's Yojic Android Studio Benchmark. And this is a fork of the mobile Firefox created by a fellow called Sergei Ratkivsky. Thanks, Sergey, for creating this. Sergey created this as a way to keep track of different machines and their performance in building this particular solution at this point in time. And you'll see that we're on the same exact version of Android Studio. It's Arctic Fox 2020.3.1. Now, the difference between these two is that the one on my MacBook Pro is running in Intel mode, and the one on the MacBook Air M1 is running under Apple architecture. It's the same version, but it decides automatically which one is gonna run. By the way, I also ran a computer comparison on the MacBook Air M1 between the Intel version and the Apple version, and you can check that video out too. I'll link to it down below. Now, I want this to be a from scratch test, so I'm gonna clone this repository from scratch. There we go. And let's open it up in Android Studio. There it goes. And let's do the same exact thing here on the MacBook Pro. I'll delete the previous two tests I ran already and clone this in one more time so we have a fresh take on this. Now, by the way, the first time you do a build takes a little bit longer, about 30% longer than the subsequent builds. And you'll see that in a minute. And I'm gonna do an average of a few different builds after the first build and then tally it up and display that information at the end. So we have kind of an average number to go off of. And when I open the project up, of course, we have the usual Gradle build moment that we, uh, it's basically a coffee break for me. That one didn't take so long. I think they've improved that whole Gradle build in the beginning part. All right, time to put the coffee down and let's proceed. Now, as soon as I pop that open, the Intel box starts making all sorts of noises. I'm pretty used to that by now. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Gradle, pop open this little script runner, and I'm gonna do a clean first just why not and i'm going to do the same thing here now the command to actually execute the run is called assemble debug it's also a gradle script and as you can see we're going to have a build successful output at the end and it's going to tell us how long it took but because this is a race it's more fun to just uh, run them at the same time so i'm going to run gradle assemble debug i'm going to hit enter just yet and when this one is ready i'm going to do these at the same exact time and i think we're ready to go i'm going to hit enter now and let's go. I'm not expecting this to be done and for the next couple minutes, we'll see what uh, what it's gonna take and how long it's gonna be. And uh, you can watch the clock, we'll do a fast forward on this time. It's been a while, old friend. This MacBook Pro is heating up and it's making a lot of noise. By the way, I did get a comment recently saying, why are you putting your MacBook Air next to the MacBook Pro? Well, the MacBook Pro's fans is actually right along that top part right there, so the air is coming up instead of to the side here, so that's not a concern. We have a winner, okay? The MacBook Air finished in one minute, 55 seconds for this project. Still waiting for the MacBook Pro to finish. And yeah, we've been waiting a long time as Android developers for this moment when Apple Silicon will finally be supported 
this is actually a preview so it's going to be probably even tweaked even better when it comes out in full production mode and look at that the macbook pro finished two minutes 38 seconds now this is the first run which means that i've just downloaded the project i've cloned the repo and ran it for the first time it is going to be a little bit longer than our regular times so we're going to do a few more builds like this one now in order to start from scratch i'm going to run another command called clean first so gradle clean and same thing over here just to get things to baseline now the clean command also takes much faster three times faster on the macbook m1 two seconds there and six seconds on the macbook pro all right let's do the assemble debug one more time and we're going to race them again we're going to hit enter at the same time let's go While this is happening, just want to say, are you subscribed yet? If you're not, tap that subscribe button, it's free. And I'd appreciate a like to this video. It helps me out a lot and helps other people discover this through the YouTube algorithm. Hey, it's free. All right, folks, we have a winner again. And this time it took a lot less time, one minute and 27 seconds on the M1. And we're still waiting for the MacBook Pro to finish that up. All right, folks, we finished in two minutes and two seconds on the MacBook Pro. I'm gonna write that down and um, yeah. It's considerably faster on the M1. No fans on this box. A machine that's four times less the price than the MacBook Pro. A lot quieter, a lot faster, and optimized for Apple Silicon now. So pretty impressive. I'm still impressed with this machine. It's still a good buy. And now it's even a good buy for Android development as well, which this support has been kind of lacking in the last few months as we've been patiently waiting for Android team to develop this. But there's still another machine that I really want to test this on. And that's going to be the Ryzen 9 machine. Machine. All of you always tell me about Ryzen 9 and how awesome it is. Well, we're going to put that to the test. So let me do one more test here before I summarize this. So I'm going to clean this one more time and let's assemble debug once again. One last time just to get an average. By the way, if you're an Android developer and you want to test this on your own hardware, you can go download the project. I'll link to it down below. Run it and come back here and leave a comment. Let me know what machine you have, what processor you have, and how long this project took to build using these exact same steps. The instructions are actually in the readme file, so you can check that out too. And I'm sure a lot of people reading the comments down below would also benefit from this. All right, the M1 is finished at 1 minute and 25 seconds. And another pretty consistent time with the Mac pro at 1 minute 59 seconds so pretty close to the second run time i'm not going to run this one more time because well you're getting a consistent time at this point if you want to see the m1 race the ryzen 9 machine tap on the video right here thanks a lot and as always have a nice day